Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Valentine's specials forecast for singles. Now let's take a look what's going to be coming your way, okay? If you're going to be meeting the love of your life or will that be another lesson to learn? Okay, you are still fresh from the pain, okay? And um, relationship will be the last thing that's going to be on your mind. But at this point, you're already happy being surrounded by your friends, your family, you know, and the people that you're closely connected with. Now, you want to continue healing and you want to continue this journey alone for a little while until that you will find yourself, you know, believing in love and having faith in the relationships again. You want to make some changes to yourself because if you, you know, you feel like if you're going to be with another person again, that person will eventually change you instead of you finding yourself again. And you're still wallowing, okay, um, over what's spilled. And I feel like it's time for you to, you know, whatever you have given in the relationship, you shouldn't really regret it, okay? You shouldn't resent it because there are things that happen for a reason and we all do whatever we needed to do in order for us to make something work but if you held back a lot in the past then that's the only time that you will feel a lot of remorse that you should have you know given your all you should have committed you should have done this you should have done that okay so at least now you know the lesson that you have to learn in order for you to make the next relationship that you're going to be in work okay and you will also be getting in touch with your faith and spirituality or tapping into your higher self, okay? And sexually, uh, I feel like you'll be, I feel like there is someone that is more likely friends with benefits that you're closely connected with. And this is the one that has been giving you pleasure and comfort. This person has been waiting for you to take them seriously and they do genuinely care for you. However, with your absence of emotions and with your absence of effort to make this relationship work and to make it work, this person have the tendency to really just walk away. But you are the one who will realize, that, okay, hold on, I need this person to be around me. And I feel like just because that you're you know just because that you don't want this person to walk away from you or just to see them hurt you're going to be making a promise that you don't have any plans of fulfilling so be very careful it is much better for you to hurt someone with the truth rather than make them believe in a lie okay because you know that's uh, there will be another bad karma that you will have later on if you really don't want to be with this person and if you feel like you can't really see yourself being with this person then let it go okay sex is just sex it's just a physical aspect and it has nothing to do with the longevity or with the uh, you know the companionship that you're looking for now you need to be a little bit more you know like more in touch with your feelings and with your emotions because with all the things that you have already gone through in the past you became too stiff okay and I feel like you're always about money because you feel like if there's no money then there's no happiness and if you feel like you're happy 
then you'll be able to manifest the things that you really want in life and when there's a relationship you feel like this is the one that keeps on tarnishing your happiness so you will try to step aside away from the relationship scene or the commitment uh, thing okay and you'll you know you will try to make this person happy with a with a promise that you will be giving them but you know eventually if this person will find out that you don't have any plans of keeping your promise it will destroy the friendship okay i mean both of you have I mean, you, you do have some consent into having sex with, you know, I mean, using each other, but, um, you know, feelings will always be feelings. And you can't help for other people not to fall for you because you're kind of irresistible, you know. You also deserve to be loved and uh, to be cared for. And we've all been hurt every now and then in our past relationships and uh, you know in the past but that doesn't mean that you have to turn your back around and uh, you know leave the the love behind because eventually you will still fall for somebody care for someone and know that someone will always be there for you okay be a little bit more considerate now let's take a look at the lesson that you have to learn Travel, go and seek out for yourself, passion, faith, friendship. Well, this is what I have told you. Go and seek out for yourself. Find your soul again. Find yourself and uh, rediscover. Okay, tap into your higher self. As I've said, that you're going to be a little bit spiritual for the next few weeks. And you need to be a little bit more compassionate. Okay, have some faith. It's not yet. You know, the end of the world, just because that you've been broken and uh, betrayed, doesn't mean that it's already the end of, um, you know, the end of the, uh, like, a relationship for you. Like, you will never, ever love again. And never, ever. Okay? And cherish this relationship or cherish this friendship. Because this person truly um, cares for you. And this person have a lot of concern and the reason why they are letting themselves be, you know, let's say be used, okay, um, by you just for the sake of giving you pleasure is because they're hoping that someday you'll realize that they've always been there for you and that they have feelings for you. They're just waiting for you to open up your eyes and to open up your mind. And they're waiting for you to be noticed. So sorry. And they're waiting to be noticed by you. All right. So anyway, that's it for you for this Valentine's Aquarius. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website at theangel.net. Blessings to you.